So hello there to all of my uh, tomatoes and to all of my friends. So we here at the I am Harriet and I am a Filipino content creator for yeah and on YouTube st trying to start out and I'm uh, exploring many things. So most of my content involves around comment social commentary. I also review a bunch of movies most of which are in the mature area where we review movies under the Viva Max platform so if you're not yet uh, if you want to check it out just go to vivamax.com and you can check uh, the content but uh, here we also do yeah as I said we also do hot takes and social commentary and we also do wrestling here and what better way to uh, promote some wrestling, one of my wrestling contents, than to talk about controversial figures? First of which of my videos involves a certain guy named Phil Brooks, uh, Mr. No Mill Phil, uh, CM Punk. And now we are going to delve into another wrestling figure, but he's not a wrestler, he is more of a. Uh, YouTuber himself just like me, but he's a bigger YouTuber uh, to all my uh, tomatoes and to all of my friends and his name is Adam Blampier. Adam Blampier was a content creator for What Culture. Before that he was a, uh, I think he was a comedian he, and then his uh, wrestling uh, expertise blossomed on the What Culture YouTube channel, What Culture Wrestling, the subdivision of the What Culture to all of my tomatoes and to all of my friends. And uh, what we're dealing is some serious issues regarding the psyche of the man and some controversies that continues to haunt him until this uh, very day. So, a uh, bit of history talk. Uh, so, if for in order to visualize let's not go to the reddit section i will show a picture of adam blampier on my browser so this is adam blampier himself uh he is also known as plumpy okay so why are we talking about him uh a uh, few years back uh adam blampier and some guys you may know if you're into the UK wrestling scene, Adam Pacitti, Jack the Jobber, Sam Driver, and Ross Fidel, they started a company known as Cultaholic, the one that goes join us in YouTube. That uh, before, before Cultaholic ever started, they were in what culture? They had creative differences with the management in what culture, that's why they left and started their own YouTube brand. But before the jump started called the Holic, controversy surrounded, surrounded Adam Blampier regarding uh, certain sexual allegations like asking for nudes from his fans. Uh, yeah, th those surface and it almost sabotage to the lack of the better term the uh, the start of the Cultaholic YouTube channel and fast forward uh, to 2020 Adam did undergo therapy he uh, shaved his head once we I don't have a footage of that uh, shaved head apology video but yeah he returned to wrestle talk at first my initial reaction when he returned to wrestle talk was uh, conflicting because I've known him like a, he's like one of the founders of cultaholic even though he even though uh, he wasn't really there when the channel channel started formally and I just kept saying asking to myself why would Adam join WrestleTalk and I was a young guy back then and when I grow up, I uh, I really understood the situation. 
So if you don't, uh, go check out a video. I think it was Ross Trudel answering questions on Cultaholic. Just search on YouTube. Ross Twedell answers questions and one of them is with regards to Adam Blompier returning to Cultaholic in the foreseeable future in which they denied given the damage that Adam done to the channel before they even started. Okay, so that was 2020 and Adam has been has been in WrestleTalk for a good three years. He established two additional channels. The former Screen Stalker channel that became Parts Fun Known. I prefer the Screen Stalker's name. I wish they renamed Parts Fun Known back to St Screen Stalkers now that Adam is gone. And No Rolls Bard. And No Rolls Bard is where things got a little bit uh, out of hand. Okay. So, one side character, one guest in the No Rolls Bar YouTube channel by the name of Gnarly Carly. I'll just uh, search her channel. Gnarly Carly. Uh, yeah, this one. She released a statement that really uh, became uh, sus if you think about it. Gnarly Carly left a statement. I'm not sure if this is uh, is this is on the uh, Squared Circle channel. Let me check do, 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 do. yeah this is no rolls barred I'm looking for the gnarly Carly uh, statement but anyway let's uh, move on it's uh, it was implied that Adam's old behaviors started to mingle again but the concrete evidence that he did it at one scene in no rolls bard is not really uh obvious or what's the term concrete immiscible uh like evidential Cir it's it's more of a circum circumstantial evidence and it's more of the message that Gnarly is uncomfortable knowing that one of the hosts of the No Rules Bar YouTube channel had a history of sexual allegations. It's not directly implied that Adam uh, did some misconduct on Miss Carly, but I'll leave you the viewers to decide. So. Adam got disciplinary leave and it leads to this. So while the, discipl the disciplinary leave of Adam Blampe wasn't really made public until Carly showed that statement, all we saw was the lack of Adam at the Parts Fun Known YouTube channel. Normally, Adam Blampe is the one who does the list. But in the past month, in the past month, we've seen different people do lists. We've seen Tempest do the list. See? The last time Adam did a list is, I guess, this one, which was one month ago. And then onwards, it was Tempest or Lori Blake. Or Dan Layden, yeah, and then one of their uh, games, which is Survival Series, Adam was the defending champion of the Survival Series game, and it was uh, on this episode, this right here, where they crowned a new uh, champion. 
So it really starts as if something happened to Adam, and after a month of uh, speculation, we got or after a month we finally get an update. Wrestle Talk mutually agreed with Adam Lampier that he will be leaving the company with immediate effect. Adam will be making his own statement on his Instagram about his departure shortly, and we respect his request to address this matter in more detail himself. We've made this a publicly available Patreon post on the continued advice of those we have worked with during this difficult process. We will continue to work with the external expert consultants mentioned in our previous update so we can be certain we always have the strongest possible processes in place to support our team members and community. The past few weeks have been very challenging for all those all of those involved and we would like to thank everyone who follows our channels for their continued support of our amazing cast and crew. Your understanding throughout the recent month has been genuinely heart heartwarming for us and it truly is appreciated. And if we look through uh, the comment section of this uh, Reddit post in the Squared Circle form, we've seen some uh, we've seen some comments like "See you in two years with a shaved head." So this is uh, in allusion to what I've mentioned that Adam, one of Adam's cases back then before he was he ever joined Wrestle Talk, and after he got uh, he got some. Uh, allegations is he shaved his head and provided updates so this one's apology video he, they're talking about the ukulele uh, looking back it's pretty crazy how him not joining leaving cultaholic before it even it even began was the best thing happened to them. people tend to forgot that he, we was basically the face of what culture and you could argue back then yeah I mean, what culture is still good? They, it's not like a one-man show anymore. Where Adam was running, was uh, being the face of the place, the face that runs the place. But it's still a good channel. They got uh, fun quizzes there. I mean, Simon is their biggest name, to be honest. Yeah, what culture is pretty decent. They got a cool, cool cast, except for Sidgwick. Okay, uh, let's see. So what? So yeah, from that uh, Adam left uh, Wrestle Talk immediate uh, two days ago. So if we're going to go look at uh, his Instagram post, I believe it's here. Where is that statement? Where other? No, this is uh, this is the tweet. This is the past one. Uh -huh. Ah, here, here it is. Here it is. It is with deep sadness that I have made the decision to step away from YouTube for the foreseeable future. This is not a decision I have taken lightly, but it is one that I believe to be in the best interest of the people and channels that I care so deeply about. The last month has been incredibly difficult and has been equally so, for those around me, the cumulative effect of this has become too over, become just too overwhelming for me in recent days. As such, for the sake of my own mental health and that of those close to me, stepping back feels like the healthiest thing to do. Yeah, this is uh, uh, my uh, my tomatoes and my friends. This is uh, Adam's uh, statement in Instagram. I'm just reading a compilation a bit here on Reddit. Certain language has been used to describe me that I categori categorically refute and believe to be wholly inappropriate. Yet at this point, I can say so much more about it than that. However, I want to make it clear that my choice to live is for the welfare of myself and the people around me. I have not been dismissed. So, he was not released by WrestleTalk. Uh, according to this, if we're going to, this, to the perspective of the statement, he quit on his own behalf. I understand that some people will be disappointed with my inability to go into further details right now. This is on the advice of legal professionals, lawyers, 
so that I have the most solid footing possible ahead of, ahead of some important next steps which lay before me. I am truly grateful to those of you for whom this explanation will be sufficient, at least until I am one day able to address anything of real substance further, should doing so be appropriate. I have been very honest and transparent about my shortcomings and mistakes in the past. However, the prior transparency has come at a cost, especially when it's used negatively in the court of social media opinion and to form assumptions about me in the present. Yeah, uh, this I think this is a direct uh, response to what uh, Miss Carly showed uh, that Adam was unfairly judged because of his past. And again, there was no concrete proof that Adam really what's the term molested Carly or did some harassment on Carly on air in the NRB tapings. But it's let's just give it the benefit of the doubt, okay? The sheer amount of online speculation and harassment of NRB and its team has become too painful to bear. As such, I am hoping that taking a step back will be best for everyone involved and feels like the most compassionate course of action. So, if you just got on, yeah, I tried to look for Carly's statement. I think if you go to the YouTuber Adam Spicer, he has all the videos regarding the whole Adam Blampage situation of 2023. Please refrain from hounding or hassling anyone connected with this situation. I in no way condone that. Pushing people for answers that they cannot legally give doesn't make things any better for anyone. Thank you again to those who continue to understand that. I also want to give a heartfelt thanks to everyone at No Rolls Bard, Parts Fun Known, and Wrestle Talk for an amazing few years. They are fantastic people who truly deserve your support and I know they will flourish in my absence. Keep watching those channels and hopefully my absence can help make that viewing experience a lot less complicated and a lot more joyful. For anyone who watched my content and supported me in doing so, I want to say thank you very much and I'm sorry for any distress that this past month has caused to those who just want to watch fun escapist hobbies videos. Hobby videos. I hope that like me, you will continue to view them with love for many more years to come. Yeah, so enough about me. About how about you guys? Do you think Adam Blumpy deserves a second chance on life? I mean a third chance? Because technically Result Talk is his second chance. Or do you, you know just give him the persona and grata treatment? Yeah. So yeah, that's the whole Adam Blumpy situation. Uh Feel free to comment what you think, uh, also for the future of Adam, and yes, yeah, support Wrestle Talk. even though through their dark times, it's for the better, and yeah, goodbye and good night.